I'm Bo Timken, Master Sake Sommelier, and in this segment on Jumai Sake, I want to speak to you about how best to warm your sake. <laughs> Don't be afraid, hot sake, people think, oh God, hot sake is bad sake. Not true. Granted, there was a day that when, when the first inception, the, the ships were coming from Japan, bringing sake to the shores of the United States, predominantly they weren't bringing the best brew, so they told us here in the West to heat it, overheat it, and heating sake too much becomes kind of a masking agent for a really inferior brewer. You can just nuke the hell out of it and you don't really taste it. It's that kind of butane rubbing alcohol stuff that we so celebrate and enjoy drinking in those small little hot cups. That said, in Japan it's cold a lot, lot of the year around, and there's nothing better than a very therapeutic, great warming sake. So how do you warm sake and why do you warm sake? Well, again, it's a preference, and people enjoy the therapeutic value and the, and the properties of a hot sake. It's just nice. It feels good, especially if it's great tasting. So, in theory, what you do is you take sake from a bottle and you pour it into a tokuri. You take a pan, fill it half up with water, and you put that on a stove, and you bring that to a boil. Then you take the tokuri, put it in the pan, turn the flame off and you wait roughly two to three to four minutes, however long or however hot you want the sake. Now predominantly, most tokuris have a concave bottom. If you touch the outside of the tokuri, that'll give you the boiling water temperature. If you touch the air pocket, that'll tell you the temperature of the sake inside the tokuri. So that's the best way. So you allow that to do kind of a slow warm. The alcohol does evaporate a little bit, but on the whole, then you pour into your ochoco and you drink and back and forth. And again, hot sake should not be frowned upon. A lot of people will sell you, oh, no, the best sakes are meant to be consumed cold. That's why, because in theory, the premium, really premium categories of daiginjo and ginjo do best really chilled. Uh, and jumai and hanjozo sakes do well room temperature and warmed. So don't frown on hot sake. Enjoy it. Embrace it. When it's cold out, there's nothing better than a beautiful, warm or hot sake.